Hi, I'm Uncle Carl. Welcome to Twin Moons Tavern. Today we're doing jerk chicken. Jerk is a Caribbean spice mixture or marinade, typically associated with Jamaican food. It's a little spicy with a lot of flavor and excellent. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Making jerk anything is really about the marinade, the jerk itself. I'm not doing anything special here. This is a pretty standard recipe. But here you go. In a food processor, go ahead and pour your soy sauce. Get yourself half an onion. Peel it. Cut off the root. And then just chunk it into large pieces. Your green onions. Cut off the root again. And then just cut them into about one inch pieces. Just to give the food processor a head start. Get your garlic. Put them underneath the flat of your chef's blade. With the blade flat but pointing away from you and slightly angled down, go ahead and pop it. That's gonna break up the skin and you can just peel it from there. Get yourself a couple scotch bonnets or habaneros, cut them in half, take out the stem, and take out the seeds and the pith. The seeds and the pith is where the majority of the heat lives. So by taking that out, you're gonna control a lot of the heat. If you wanna keep it really spicy, just take out the seeds and leave the pith in. That will still give you a lot of heat but the seeds do have a tendency of becoming bitter when overcooked. So you definitely want to take those out. And then one of the really core flavors of jerk is thyme. You can use dried thyme if you want to. I'm using fresh. And to get these leaves off, I'm just grabbing the stem up towards the top between two fingers. And then between two other fingers, I'm just pulling down. And this will pull the leaves right off. Go ahead and toss that in. Add some cinnamon, black pepper, some salt and then we're going to go ahead and grate some fresh nutmeg into this and then we're going to use allspice berries i'm going to go ahead and give them a quick crush underneath the knife much like i did with the garlic go ahead put that in with the processor and now we're going to go ahead and seal it up give it a couple pulses and then let it rip for about 30 seconds to a minute during this point in time you're going to go ahead and pour in your olive oil and just let it run until you got the consistency you like Go ahead and put that to the side for now. And now we're gonna go ahead and butcher up our chicken. You can go ahead and get a chicken that's already quartered. You can get a whole chicken quarter it yourself. I'm gonna show you my favorite way to cook chickens. And that is in one whole piece, but spatchcocked. It makes for a really quick cooking time and very even cooking. And most importantly, I just like saying the word spatchcock. Firstly, you're gonna go ahead and take your chicken, lay it on its breasts with the back facing up. Go ahead and find your backbone. And then with a pair of good kitchen shears, just start cutting up one side. Just need to make sure you get in between the backbone and the hip bone of the thigh. Once you get past there, it's really easy. Flip it around, do the other side. And then just remove the backbone. Now from here, if you want to, you can just go ahead and flip it around and give it a good push like you were doing CPR. And I'll break the kill bone and then you'll be able to lay your chicken flat. But if you want to go the extra mile, you need to remove the kill bone altogether, which is pretty easy. The kill bone is this cartilage piece and the bone that it's attached to. So with your knife, just slit along either side, then up here between the kill bone and the rest of the chicken should just go right in. And then another small slit underneath just to make sure it lets go of the meat. And then it should just pull right out. Just right out. I do this all the time. I promise you this is easy. See, it's coming right out. Damn it. Comes right out just like that. Yeah, super easy. Honestly, I do these all the time and it's super easy. I don't know what's up with this chicken. Maybe it's a mutant. As you can see, once you've taken out the keel bone, it lies super flat. Now to help with cooking time and also to get the marinade flavor deeper into the meat, I'm just gonna score the thigh, the leg, and the breast just a little bit. And like I said, that's gonna facilitate it cooking faster and that marinade getting deeper into the meat. And then just slather on your marinade and then put it in the refrigerator for at least an hour, preferably overnight. Side note, if you don't want to make such a mess, put the chicken in the container you're going to marinate it in, and then put the marinade in that. Don't do it on the table. And then when you're ready to cook, 
We're going to take it out to the grill. Now I'm using lump wood charcoal, but feel free to use propane, charcoal briquettes. I always personally like to use lump charcoal and or hardwood. In my opinion, those give the best flavors. Put it down over top with the skin side or the pretty side facing down first. And you're going to let that sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Occasionally check on it to make sure it's not burning or that you don't have any flare ups. And then flip it over to get the other side. Once you flip it over, it should take about another 20 minutes or until you reach an internal temperature of about 162 to 165 degrees. Then pull it off and let it rest. And then after letting it rest for about five, 10 minutes, we're gonna break it down, slice it down the back. Then we're gonna go ahead and slice it between the thigh and the breast, and then in the joint between the thigh and the leg. And then the plate, I'm gonna take a spoonful or two of extra marinade that I have, just kind of swish it along the bottom of the plate. And then stack up my chicken. Drop a little extra time on it, and there you go. Now let's see what cameraman Scott thinks. Mm. Very tender. Mm -hmm. Wide array of flavors coming through. The jerk is very, very complex flavoring. Very complex. You got. There's just so many things, it's really hard to, I mean, you can get a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of spice, heat, a little bit of salt coming through. You got the uh, allspice okay. berries. That's what that is. Bye-bye, chicken. Mmm, chicken, chicken, dude.